Hello Snoopy, the people want to know what's your favorite ride in Boardwalk? Is it the Supreme Scream? Accelerator. He doesn't really like either As of it's, it's the Accelerator, he loves taking the drops. It's mine too. It's my favorite ride too. Alrighty pal, thanks for seeing you. Have a good day. What up you guys, it's your tall guy back at the farm on this beautiful day. We're here to cover two major things. One, take a walk to Camp Snoopy to look at all the walls that have gone up. You guys, we have more than three ride closure here at Knott's. We're gonna go over them in just a bit. And two, checking out the Prestige Pass VIP lounge that Knott's has over down at good old Calico. So, if you guys haven't done so already, drop your tall guy a like. I really appreciate all the support y'all have been showing me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's check out the farm. All right, you guys, so check it out. Entering Camp Snoopy, we got more walls than we had last time. Do you remember now, uh, Knott's is slated for a Memorial Day weekend opening for all of this. As soon as you walk into Camp Snoopy, our favorite store is now under construction as well. We're getting a new Camp Snoopy store. Hopefully it's a lot bigger. I mean, it looks pretty big as it is. But aside from that, I have to do some quick math because we have a total of six attractions closed alone over at Camp Snoopy. Let's list them off real quick. We got Woodstock's Mail Drop, the Grand Sierra Railroad, Puff and Puff, the Ferris Wheel, Timberline Twister, and lastly, the, uh, I forgot the name, <laughs> the truck with the horns. You know what I mean. Alrighty, so here's a quick 360 view of all of Camp Snoopy with the walls up and the construction update going on. The stagecoach uh, wait was a little bit too long. If you're not there to rope drop it, you're waiting 45 minutes for that. So, this is what we're gonna do today. Can't wait to see the current status when the Ferris wheel and the honkers and the huff and puff get demoed and repurposed. Timberline Twister, it's gonna be exciting to see when the coaster rails come to life over here, but I'm sure knots will work quick and fast in the meantime because they're slated for Memorial Day opening weekend. So, busy, busy. Let's get to it, knots. So in my previous video guys, I mentioned that I wish Knott's would cover the sight lines or fix the sight lines over at Cap Snoopy. The walls that surround the street area of Buena Park, right over there where the Ferris wheel is at, they could just put a fake facade of, you know, just make it look campy with a lot of trees. Maybe put some wood, real trees in, who knows, I don't know. But Knott's, if you ever check out my content, I don't know what, just saying. I think sight lines would improve Camp Snoopy thousand times better. I gotta say, finally, some peace and quiet over here by this walkway. I didn't miss this, and I hope y'all did it too. <laughs> but aside from that, guys, we also have the peanut celebration kicking off January 27th here at Knott's Prairie Farm. Probably Camp Snoopy isn't the best place to be during the celebration. It's kind of sad because this is kind of home to the peanut game, you know what I mean? You find all of them here, so uh, throughout the rest of the park there's a whole bunch of other entertainment. Sadly, the peanut theater won't be here just in time for the celebration as it's slated for a Memorial Day weekend opening. So we'll expect more entertainment else. For all those Montezuma fans out there, sadly, no update, no word, no whispers to this iconic attraction. Samuel. Samuel, get you on the vlog, is that cool? Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Shout out to Samuel for the awesome caricature drawings. Check out Bronny. I'm always a fan of these, they're really cool. What happened? I'm always a fan of these, these are really Fortunately, cool. two of my favorite attractions here are gonna be closed. Um, one of them for usual maintenance, one of them for a refurb, right behind me. The Rio Grande Railroad, guys. Oh my goodness. Can't get on the train for a while. It's gonna be gone, gonna be down for about, from what I'm hearing, about two months. Good old Timber Mountain, guys. Dang, I, I, I rarely get to ride this ride a lot. When it does come up, I always get on it, but for the most part, it's a log ride. It needs a lot of maintenance done to it from time to time, so. Perfect time to do it for theme parks is slower season as soon as Christmas is over, bam, water rides go down. Start working on them. Same goes for the River Rapids, Calico River Rapids. 
I bet the ducks are having a good time now that the ride is down. Sleeping, swimming in peace. So if you really think about it guys, that's a total of nine rides that are closed at knots for the time being. That's a lot of rides. But you know, we still got some other cool ones open at the moment. Supreme Scream, Accelerator, Ghost Rider. Of course, all the ones that have long wait times, but yeah, if you're coming to knots, just uh, be aware that these rides are down. Alrighty, so now we're in good old Calico Ghost Town. Let's go ahead and try out the Prestige Pass Lounge over by the dress shop. Let's see what it's all about. Is this check-in for the lounge? It is. Nice. Here you are. You're good to go. All right, thank you. Uh, of course, I'm a good one. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, it's nice and... Never knew the dress shop goes all the way this way. Alrighty guys, just got out of the Calico Social Lounge, is what they want to call it. Let's talk about it. I love it. I honestly do love it. Uh, first off, as soon as you walk in, greeted with these amazing portraits uh, about Nazis history overall. After that, you, obviously you got to scan in your pass to get in, but from there, you're just greeted by a very large lounge from what I saw. Bigger than what I expected from what I seen on pictures. Nice lounge, chairs, four TVs all around. Uh, one playing everything, something different at least. Complimentary snacks. Uh, drinks are not complimentary, though, unless you do have the drink plan or the seasonal cup. And they even had SpongeBob playing in there. Come on. How, how good can it get? You got SpongeBob playing in the lounge? Already worth it, right? But, as but aside from all that, guys, what I truly do appreciate is um, you could tell that they really took their time and they cared about the lounge. It's not something they just kind of just put something together real quick. No, they took their time and looked like you actually cared about it. This is why I truly love Knox. Just no matter what pass type you get, something is always offered great for every single one of them. Right off the rip, the most basic pass, no blackout dates All right, already. So they really want you to come to the theme park and enjoy your time here. Uh, as a prestige pass holder, I'm loving it already. I get the preferred parking. I'm currently walking up the stairways to Ghost Rider right now to redeem my fast lane for it once per visit and I get the prestige lounge now what more can you ask for it's great thank you Knotts and even with the fast lane or without Ghost Rider is a freaking walk-on when do you see that midday guys Ghost Rider a walk-on am I gonna get on this twice hell yeah alrighty people that is gonna do it for today's vlog over at Knott's Berry Farm First visit of the 2024 season, I loved it. What a beautiful day it was. Got on Ghost Rider, which is a walk-on, which is <laughs> amazing, right? And just a bunch of other cool updates around the park. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop your tall guy a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, you'll catch this tall guy at the next theme park. We are out of here.